Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at how to change your preferred band 2.4 or 5 for your wireless network adapters. We're going to discuss a few reasons for this, but we're just going to jump right in first and discuss how and why as we go. Open your device manager. There's a few ways to do that. Um, Windows 10, Windows Key Plus X, and you can hit device manager. You can also search for device manager and bring it up. And what you want to do next is find your network adapter. It's pretty simple to do. In this case, that's my Ethernet. This would be my wireless adapter right here. Double click on that. Now, jump over to the Advanced tab. Right there. And scroll on down and find Preferred Band. Right there. This is where you want to be for almost everybody, again, unless you're diagnosing an internet problem. You can click the drop down box, you can pick 2.4 or 5. Now, here's your considerations that I was discussing earlier. You would assume 2.4 would be slower and 5 would be faster, and you would actually be correct. But keep in mind that 2.4 is believed to have a, I shouldn't say believe, it just does, has a wider range and covering larger areas, and it tends to get through, let's say, steel doors, maybe even, you know, roof stuff like that. You know, the typical interference problems, for example, microwaves. I mean, that stuff doesn't exist quite as bad as it used to in the past, but this is kind of a long shot for a diagnosing problem. So I would go to 2.4G, and then you could try 5 first, and if nothing works, just go back to no preference and leave it alone just in case. So that's it. It's pretty simple to do. Your internet connection might fade out for a minute and come back when you're done. Another thing this article is linked to in the video description as always. Note this link right here to speed test. That's easy enough to remember. You don't need us. Go ahead and run a speed test before you play around and then come back. That may help you. However, keep in mind that if you're making this change, you're probably doing it, as I mentioned, because you're just not getting getting the range you want when you're a little farther out. I'm actually having that problem here. Maybe I'll have to try my own guide. Where I go through my sliding glass doors and the signal just fades out pretty bad. So, And if that doesn't work, I've spent a lot of time writing these articles here. These top two, improving your wireless network performance, fixing slow internet on Windows 10, check your auto-tuning settings. You can reset, flush, ping, there's just a ton of stuff in here that will get the job done for you and will get you straightened out. So any thoughts on this, any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and we'll do the best we can to try and get to you. Uh, bottom right corner over here, Major Geeks logo, click that for subscribe. As always, we appreciate you watching and hope to see you again. See ya.